Well, hello, good people. How are you? Very well, I hope. I've got a really nice motorhome stroke camper van, a self-build one, one of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> I would say that though, because I built it. I'm really looking forward to showing you this one. Do stick around to the end because there are some things on this that I did that I would definitely change. See what I did there? I'm keeping you hooked in, keeping you hooked in. Come on, let's go and have a look. So here it is, it's the Fiat Ducato Maxi Van. It's a 2.3 litre, 130 brake horsepower, but I've had my one upgraded to 165 brake horsepower because I really wanted that extra bit of oomph on the motorway and overtaking because I've got quite a lot of stuff in there and it is a bit heavy. So what's the benefit of the Maxi? Well, it's about that much longer, that's great. I visually think it looks much better from the side. It just looks, just looks right to me. They are a bit rarer to come by, but you do get a few extra bits. You get this extra bit of plastic here, which I quite like. 16 inch wheels is standard. So a bigger brake disc as well, better stopping power. And it takes a better, heavier payload as well, which is good, isn't it? You know, not bad. Now I want to show you around the whole vehicle, inside and out, especially the garage, because that's my favorite room. But I need to give you a little bit of background about me first. My name's Errol, and a bit of a disclaimer here, I've been building uh, camper vans for about 10 years now, mostly Land Rover Defender campers for the expeditions and things like that. Um, I thought I'd branch out and try and do one of these. So this was done originally as a demo vehicle. Having finished it, which took me a year part-time, evenings and weekends, I realized I just couldn't do it. I couldn't make the figures balance at the end of the day. So having said that, I've got a really nice vehicle out of it. So I'm really pleased with that. And I really do love this particular vehicle. So let's have a look about. Let's go to the garage first. Oh, my favorite room. What have I got in here? all kinds going on. Oh, I gotta let you know, I went a bit OTT with some of it. Everything I can give you material-wise, information-wise, I'm gonna put on the description below. I probably won't remember everything, but I do my best. And if there's anything I missed out, anything you wanna know, please do put a comment there and I'll get back in touch. Fingers crossed. Okay, back to the garage. Lots of stuff going on. This is the main control room. I'll show you that in a minute. In this cupboard down here, we have two leisure batteries here. And we have another one down here as well. At the moment, they're just AGM batteries. I really would like to put some lithium ones in, but we all know how expensive they are, don't we? But one day it will happen. What else have we got? Up here, we have a uh, little area here I can put my hose in. We've got the hose up here. This comes all the way out, two meter hose. I didn't have it on the end there because I didn't want the water running across the top of the battery. So I decided to keep it all separate. And also easy boxes just to take in and out slot in like so. Over here, this is the boiler. It's a Truma, Truma boiler, I believe it is, in the description below. Um, lots of fuses up here as well, as you can see. I went a bit mad with the fuses. I'm a bit like that though. Everything inside the truck has pretty much on its own separate circuit. LED strip lights all the way through as well, control from this end and from over there as well, where the door is that goes all the way through. So if you're inside pouring with rain, you want to get something from in here, just come on through. Ah, two more cupboards down here. What have we got going on here? So this has got all the water in it, the water pump, the filter as well. And uh, oh, what's the, oh, that's just storage, more storage. There you go. And this cupboard here is uh, all the big stuff, all the good stuff. We've got uh, solar, we've got this great big Victron. It's an Easy Plus Compact. I'm just reading it off of there because I can't remember everything. That does the uh, onshore offshore, that does the inverter as well, the three pin sockets as well. Um, we have another battery there, as I mentioned, and lots of bits and pieces. Yep, I really went for it in there, I loved it. I loved every minute of doing that. I know, weird. 
I decided to go for a wall at the back of the bed because I wanted extra space to store all these bits and pieces. This material is nine millimeter birch reply and it's a flight case material. You know, you see on bands with the roadies wheeling those big containers around. Well, that's what this is all made out of. So it's really tough, sturdy material. It's the sort of stuff I, I did all my interiors for the Land Rovers exactly the same way. Um, but I only did it in the garage, not inside. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Oh, also these, if you can see these, these are really nice as well. I'll put a link in the description below where these come from as well. I like those. Now, for the keen-eyed amongst you, you will recognise that this body wrap looks very similar to uh, maybe something you've seen in the past. Uh, now that's what you're thinking, then you're not mistaken. About four years ago, it might have been five years ago, I can't be sure, Fiat Ducato decided to um, do a promotional vehicle. It's a 4x4 version. It was a maxi length, and they had this lovely body wrap around it. And here's some pictures for you of what it looked like. When I saw that, I was like, I really want to emulate that, but I didn't want to be exactly the same because, you know, that's kind of cheating. Now, fortunately for me, my neighbour does body wraps. So I took the vehicle to her and I showed her the images. And I said, can you do something like that? And she said, sure. And, um, well, this is what she came up with, as you can see. We added some red in there and a, a little bit more gold. So it had to be a bit more personal to what I wanted, but she done a fantastic job. And I've got to say, when I drive this around, it gets so many looks and people comment on it. I think it's fantastic. And the best bit is when you add in the wheels, I've got the all-terrain BF Goodridge wheels with um, a 16 inch alloy by, uh, by Super Metal, description below. Um, it just sets it off fantastically. I think it's a, it is just, for me, it looks brilliant. Right then, it's time to take a look inside. Now the layout is a very traditional layout, um, like you've seen in loads of campers. And as I said earlier, the reason why I did it, it was a prototype to show potential customers what they can have. And, it's a kind of tried and tested layout, and it does work for me, I do like it. Let's have a look. Uh, let's get the big step out. Ooh. Lovely. Oh. Oh. oh, that's better. Okay, so, got the swivel seats, and this double seat here as well. This is from a VW T5, and it's brilliant because it's got storage underneath as well. Really impressed with that, and the best bit, I got that off of eBay for £100. That was by far the best bargain of the entire build. I put lots of other bits in, we've got USB ports on the window ledge here. All the lights are on touch sensitive switches and they're all dimmable. I've got USB ports and three pin sockets all over the place in this camper. Um, I've also got hidden away in this cupboard, a 4G Wi-Fi unit as well, where you can connect up multiple devices, all that kind of stuff. One thing I wanted to show you and, um, well, I've completely forgot to bring it, is I had a little table that drops in just below this. So this comes out of the way and stores in behind the seats there. And this table then sits in this middle bit. And the best bit about it is I've got a dog and this becomes the dog's bed. But when he's not on the bed during the day, it becomes like, it becomes like a day bed. It's fantastic. I can sit there and I relax my legs out there. It's brilliant. I really love it. Now, I really like my cooking and I wanted a big kind of kitchen area and a hob sink combination unit that would work well. Obviously, I haven't done many of these before, um, so I decided to get the can double burner with a glass lid. Um, now, one thing I decided I definitely wanted was a really good quality tap. Uh, it's a feeling of home, which was great. Now, th these particular units here are in fact full-size kitchen carcasses. Um, all I did was chop the back section off just down the back of them, you know, the bit where you put your pl plumbing and your piping in your home. So I cut that away, put them in, it's the easiest way to do it. And all these doors here that you can see, um, I just ordered them online on the internet. I just got my measurements and there was an amazing array of choices you could have. As you can see also down there, we've also got the oven as well. I'll be honest with you, next time I build one, I'm gonna have that a little bit higher up. Um, and of course, funky lights underneath. Who doesn't want funky lights? And a nice white light under there as well for all your cooking and a lovely white splashback. Oh, the fridge, while we're about it, check out this fridge. Uh, what it makes is it's a Fetford fridge. I can't remember, it's descriptions below. This is a great fridge, actually. Um, it's huge, as you can see. And we've got a freezer compartment Oh, in the top there as well, which I love. Um, lots more storage up here and back here. Some of them I put lights in as well, as you can see. 
when I first decided to uh, build this, I, I kind of wanted to go with more natural materials. Um, one thing I have used, you can see on this gray here, for instance, is your normal lightweight fiberboard, which is used in loads and loads of campers. It's great stuff. You put these kind of rubber trims on, comes in so many different varieties of colors and materials. It's, it's really nice. So I used it a bit, but I didn't want this everywhere. I want it wood. I really love wood. So I've never used bamboo, so I decided to use some. And it's great. I'm going to give you a close-up of some of the bamboo. Look at that. And bamboo is just lovely. Now, the only problem with bamboo is it does weigh quite a bit. So I probably put a bit too much bamboo in. Next time, I'll put a bit less. Um, but otherwise, I think it looks fantastic. Also, other areas you can see on here, I decided to go for this lovely, lovely padded fabric as well. Just gives it a touch of glamour and a touch of uh, five star. And I've got that pretty much throughout. Oh, another thing about the bamboo, the bamboo also comes in these nice, very thin strips on a roll. Lovely bit of texture. And I've got that in a few areas. And one thing I've decided to do for the toilet, this is the toilet cassette here. I decided to have it internally, like so. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to be taking that through the camper when I got rent here. Honestly, these things are so well sealed in, it's not an issue at all. At all. So, um, you know, it's a lot easier, a lot easier to have it there than it is to uh, cut a hole in the outside. When I came to the design of the bed, I really thought long and hard about what I wanted and I decided to go for an enclosed bed and I wanted to make it kind of a bit kind of hotel roomy, a bit like that. Now the bed does look quite a fair way up, but I have gone and put a nice little step in here. So this little bit here, for instance, all I do is <laughs> pull it out. There we go. He's got it. Pull that out like so. There you go. And there's your step going up to the bed like so. There we are. Oh, more storage cupboards in here. It's a great big cupboard all the way through there. And of course, there's another one down here as well. And of course, this is the access through to the back. For the toilet and the shower, I, uh, I decided to go for a proper sink, which is one of those proper ceramic jobs as opposed to a plastic one. Um, the shower's pretty good. It's not like a shower at home, you know, it's lovely, lovely. It's pretty good, but you know, it's a, it's a motorhome shower basically. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> One other little touch uh, for a more uh, work surface area, I did, as you can see down here, there, this lovely bit down here, so that there. I mean, you see it in a lot of campers and you can't have a camper without that. Beautiful. Oh, if you're wondering what this thing is here, this black thing here, that's because my dog has a habit of jumping up, uh, looking out the window. So I had to put that there to protect some of the fabric. And as for all the controls, well, they're all up here as well. If you look behind me here, we've got uh, we've got cobwebs, got cobwebs, <laughs> we've got USB, we've got the trauma heater, um, blah, 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 external awning lights, uh, water tanks, gas, all that sort of stuff. All the normal stuff you would expect to find in a camper. Oh, one other thing I want to show you. I went for the window blinds, these window blinds. Very, very expensive, but you know the ones? They go like this. Oh, look at those. Oh, there we are. These things here, very, very sexy, but also extremely expensive. And they've got two that come across the front window as well. I highly recommend them. If you if you are thinking about, because they're like five and a half hundred pounds, I think. I can't recommend them enough. They are, they just make a world of difference. Uh, easy to operate as well. So yeah, it makes the thing look much more professional. Yeah. Well, there you have it. It's all pretty straightforward, all very compact, and it's all there. Um, I did say, oh, that's bright out there, isn't it? I did say at the beginning, uh, I'd let you know about the things that I would change if I had to do this again. And I do intend to build another one. I just got to get the time. What would I change? Well, in front of me is the uh, sink. Here we go. Look, that there. What's wrong with that? Well, the sink is way too small. And on the edge here, it's chipped away a little bit at the glass, very annoying. Um, I like the fact that these are separate, fantastic, but I really need a bigger sink. So I think that is something I would change. Also, the width of this, I might just reduce it a little bit down to about here, just to give me a bit more space in here. Doesn't need much, but just a bit. Another thing I would change is this here, I will reduce it back that way a bit because behind the toilet, there's enough space to allow this seat here to go back by about that much, which means I can have a much bigger day bed in there. What I normally do is that is normally turned around. 
leaned forward, little table in there, and that becomes my day bed. A oh, little snooze in the afternoon, lovely. And I think that's really about it, I really do. I think that's all I would change on this camper. Everything else I really, really love. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll try and put as much as I can in the link below uh, with all the descriptions and so forth. And if there is anything that you want to know that I haven't put down, just leave something in the comment and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.